Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials and in this episode I'm going to show you how to do a flashlight on the player that you can toggle off and on and collect batteries to recharge it and it has a recharging battery on it uh, it's something we can expand upon later if people want me to but um, let's get started so first thing to do is add a torch or sorry flashlight to the first person character so currently I'm using the first person character uh, first person template um, so on your main player character blueprint open up here um, you'll see a list of components on the left hand side so if I go to the viewport tab you can see all the components here in action uh, we're going to add a component to this okay so I'm going to choose this spot light component and it is and I'm going to name mine flashlight okay so it's the flashlight component and I can change the settings of this uh, of this flashlight change its uh, cone its color intensity so on and so forth um, but first of all I'm going to change its position so let me move that up here and here okay and a bit more to the right like so okay so currently I've moved it to the position of the gun but you can see it's not moving when the gun moves that's because it's not a child of the gun to make it a child all you do is you go to your component list here click and drag on flashlight onto FP gun here now you can either go to the gun or the sphere whichever is up to you and you can see now it follows the animation of the gun so this is quite useful if you want your uh, flashlight to be attached to your gun like some games do and with that completed we're now going to go into our event graph and click compile okay so in our event graph we're going to make a whole new bit over here for controlling our flashlight now before we do to make things a bit easier i'm going to create a new input so to do so click on edit then project settings and this is a whole lot of stuff here but I'm not worried about anything here apart from the input. So on the left hand side you'll see an option saying input. So what this input allows you to do. It allows you to, to control how the game receives inputs and what it translates those to. So the bit I'm looking at here is bindings. And you can expand out, out your action mappings and your axis mappings. So the difference between action and axis mappings are that action are digital, so they're either true or false, off and on, 0 or 1. And access mappings are uh, analog, so they can usually are between anything between 0 and 1. Okay. So with the first person template, there's some loads built in already. So move forward, move right, turn right, so forth. Okay. We're going to add our own one, and we're going to make a new action mapping. Click on the plus symbol next to action mappings to add a new action. And I'm going to name mine flashlight and underneath flashlight you can see I can add a key binding and from here I'm going to assign mine to F key on the keyboard now the benefit of this is now I can add this add other key bindings to it so for example if I click on the plus symbol here I can choose a gamepad and I've got loads of options to the gamepad so I can make the gamepad work with the top face button so if I go face button and that means now both F and gamepad face button top both toggle will both toggle the flashlight. With that done, click close. And we can now go back to our blueprint. Right click anywhere and type in flashlight. And you'll see the action event flashlight, the one we just made. So you've made your own custom event which binds all those keys together into one neat event. Makes it a lot easier to track and manage. Okay, so to toggle a flashlight off and on is really simple. All you do is you drag out or pressed and go toggle visibility and you'll see a list of all the components attached. You'll see your flashlight one in that list. Choose that and there you have it. And that will toggle the flashlight off and on. Click compile and close and you can see there's a flashlight and I can toggle off and on easy peasy okay so that's the first bit the next bit is I want it to drain the battery out of the flashlight if it's on okay so it's a bit more advanced a bit more things to do but uh, pretty simple nonetheless 
So the first thing I want is a battery power variable. So a variable which stores how much battery is left in my flashlight. So click on the plus symbol in the variables section in the bottom left. And I'm going to name mine battery power. Now by default it will be a boolean. We don't want it to be a boolean. We want it to be a float. Now click compile. And you'll see a default value appear as zero. Change that to one. We want to change it to one because we want the game to start off with full battery in your flashlight. In this case at least anyway. With that done, we can now begin coding it. So right click somewhere here and type in tick. So a tick event is an event that happens all the time. So uh, every single frame, every single pass of the uh, game code, this is going to be happening every single time. So basically all the time, we want to be checking whether or not the flashlight is on. If it's on, drain its battery. If it's off, ignore it. Okay. So the very first thing we're going to do is do a question. So we're going to do a branch. And we're going to check whether or not we have enough battery power to run our flashlight. So drag out battery power and choose get. So this gets the battery power value. And I want to test whether or not this is higher than zero. So choose greater than and you'll see float is greater than float. That can now connect up to the condition. So now this is asking, is battery power greater than zero? If it is, do true. Otherwise, do false. So let's start off with the false. So if battery power is not greater than zero, i.e. no more battery power, I want that to turn off the flashlight. So drag off a false. And you want to say uh, set visibility. And again, choose the flashlight component from the list. Now, we don't have to do anything else to this because it says new visibility is unchecked. We want it to be invisible. Okay, so this turns it invisible. We're all done there. Now to do the draining part. So once we've done the check to see if we actually have battery power, off of true, I want to put in a delay. Now you want a delay in there because you want to uh, make sure there's a, a, at least a, a gap between each uh, tick of battery power. Otherwise, it can go ver go past very, very quickly. So my duration for this purpose, anyway, for showing you guys, I'm going to change it to two seconds. And a delay basically means it will delay the next node from happening by this many seconds, so two seconds. After those two seconds, I want to do another check, so a branch, another check to see whether or not the torch, the flashlight is still visible. So if it's still on, that's when I'm going to drain it. If it's off, then I'm not going to drain it. So I'm going to drag off of the condition and type in is visible. And you'll see the option there again from the component list, flashlight. Oh, let me just organize this about a bit. There we go. That's a neat. So this will check whether or not the flashlight is still visible. Okay. So if it is still visible, we now want to take away battery power. So drag off of there and do set battery power. So to set battery power, we want to get the battery power. So drag down the variable from the variable list over here onto your graph and choose get. So you're getting the battery power, unpacking it and you're getting the value. And you want to take away something from that value. So do minus. And you get float minus float. And the value for that float minus float currently is 1. We want to change that to 0 0.2. And then hook it up. This means this will get the battery power that's currently stored on the player. Take away 0 0.2 of it and put save it again back into that variable. And that should do it. So let's have a look and see if that works. Go back to our game. So my flashlight is on. So I'm going to wait several seconds and it should see the flashlight turn off uh, automatically after 10 seconds there you go it turns off automatically and I can't turn it back on I haven't got enough battery power perfect that's what we want so we can go one step further to this so we've got uh, some torch controls so let me just comment that and say torch 
to add a comment you just highlight what you want to do and hit C on the keyboard and it'll add a comment box around it so I set my torch um, I want to now add a battery pickup so a pickup in the game that a player can run over collect and it will recharge the battery power in the torch now to make it so I can debug this and test this what I'm going to do is on the event tick after the set I'm going to drag out a print string and hook up battery power from the set into the print string this is only just do the debugging so you can see if it is in fact working and taking away and adding values onto it so I'm going to compile that and now I can close that so we're going to make a new battery ob uh, actor so click on add new blueprint class actor and we'll call mine battery. So my battery, when I open it up, is blank. I'm going to add a couple of components to it. So the first component I'm going to add is a static mesh. There we go. And and I've already imported my model. So I'm going to click on my static mesh component, and in the details panel here in the static mesh, I can choose it from the list. So I'm going to click on battery mesh. And there's the mesh I previously made. Okay, nothing fancy, very simple to do. Next thing I'm going to do is add a box collision. So I'm going to do box collision. And there it is. And I'm going to move this up surrounding the battery. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for that. Click compile, then go to the event graph. And we'll delete all this stuff. So this is going to be a collectible item. So I want to do a check for if I've entered the box collision. So select the box component in your component list and right click and choose begin overlap. Add on component begin overlap. So this will check whether or not, uh, well this will, uh, event will trigger as soon as something enters the box collision. Anything, it doesn't have to be the player, it could be anything. So the first thing I want to do is check whether or not it is in fact the player that's running into the battery. So off the execute, I want to type in cast to first person character and I want the other actor pin hooked up to the object pin input okay so this will do a test to see whether or not the actor that's walked into this battery is in fact a first person character if it is brilliant done it will ca carry on so as the first person character I can now access its variables because I've now got a reference to what the, the particular first person character that's walked through the battery. So if I drag off this pin, I can type in get battery power. So you can see that here that is the variable that we made in the other object in our other actor, the first person character actor. So with this, I'm going to uh, get the battery power, then I'm going to add on the battery power. So float plus float, and I'll choose 0.4. And off of that, I want to do uh, a min float. So a min float it will basically look at its pins, inputs, and choose the smallest value. So I want the top one being connected to this one. This all this stuff over here. And the bottom one, you want to just type in 1.0. So basically what this does is it caps it at 1. I don't want my battery power to exceed 1. So if I, for example, my battery power is currently 0.8, I walk into this battery object here, it adds 0.4 into it, meaning that 1.2 goes down this cable into this pin. So you've got 1.2 and 1. This node chooses the smallest value, so the smallest value it will be 1. So I'm going to return this now back to our battery power. So from the first person character again, choose set battery power. And you want to hook that up to there and that up to there. Cool stuff. And finally, after the set, you want to de destroy. Oh, I can spell it. Destroy the actor. So the battery disappears once you've walked into it. Click compile. And there we go. I can close this. I'm now going to put a battery into my world. Click play. So here's the battery in the world, and you can see here in the top left-hand corner that value going down. That's the battery power. So it's 0.4 currently, 
walk into this, it now will be higher. 0.4, see? And 0.2, and it'll turn off. There you go. Excellent. And that's basically it. So we made a, not only just a torch for the player and how to toggle it off and on, but we also made a battery draining mechanic and we've done a battery pickup mechanic. So we've got quite a few things in there. So that'll do for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or get stuck or haven't explained anything uh, well enough for you, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and share this and uh, show your friends and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>